In this video, Kevin and I are going to be going over our likes and dislikes for December. We're at the end of the year. We had two things that we did not like. Um, one I disliked more than Kevin, so I'll just go ahead and give you that. Uh, this is the uh, Van Leeuwen's uh, Red Velvet Ice Cream. I did not like it. Um, I did not think it represented red velvet at all to me. Um, it was sour. It was like it had gone off for me. It was... Um, I didn't think it was as bad as you, but I didn't like it either. I no, mean, I wouldn't buy it again either, but, no. but I didn't like... I didn't like get this really awful taste, but I, it's like, yeah, I, I wouldn't get that again. And we stay tuned because uh, uh, there is a Van Leeuwen in the favorites too. So yeah. just because this one we didn't like, there was one that we did like. Um, and it, what's funny is, is well, I'll tell you that later, uh, but that's one thing. And then the other thing we really didn't like, this, this was com a complete shock. This is the Private Selection, which is a Kroger brand, Cranberry Bourbon Pecan Holiday Mix. Now, you would think... Holiday Mix? Pecan? It's got to be good. It's going to be good. It, was, it wasn't. It was awful. I wrote on the back, taste smoky like a rib rub and not good on pecans. Bitter, horrible aftertaste. Mm -hmm. And Kevin said that during the video, that it was like, um, it was literally like a rub... It tasted like some kind of rub that you would put on meat. Yeah. It, it was not good. Yeah, with like cumin and, and cayenne. And so, I mean, it just didn't taste good at all. It yeah. didn't go with it at all. Yeah. And I'm assuming that's what they use for their bourbon. Mm -hmm. But it, it just, yeah, it didn't go good at all. Whatever yeah. they did to flavor those, I don't know. They did something wrong with that. Whatever artificial flavoring they use for bourbon, it just didn't taste Did good. not work. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this because I was talking about the Van Leeuwen. Uh, this one I loved. So yeah, there, were, there were four new ones during uh, the month of December. There was the Red Velvet, a King Cake, a Champagne, and a Chocolate Covered Strawberry yeah, or something right. like that. Yeah. And the Champagne is my very, very favorite. And... To me, it reminded me of an eggnog. Somebody else said in the comments they thought it reminded them of an eggnog. It is a little eggnoggy. And somebody else said, I looked at the ingredients, and it has a lot of the same ingredients yeah. as eggnog, a lot of those same seasonings, so no wonder it reminded you of eggnog. What, what I was going to say before is that a lot of people said, and I mean this was more than one person, said, you picked the champagne as your favorite, and that's the one flavor that I would have steered away from. Oh, really? And oh, it was, because it said champagne Because it said champagne, and it's my very favorite. Yeah, it's I loved good. it. It was really good. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it, it'll be interesting to see as, as people start to buy it and as they start to try it, what uh, thoughts are mm -hmm. on them. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. Yeah, so so we went from, from bad, but really, really mm -hmm. good. Okay, do you want to show want something? Uh, this one is the Matt's, uh, Matt's Baker Baker. I cannot talk. <laughs> Matt's Bakery Ridiculously Good Pumpkin Spice Soft Baked Cookies. Yeah, I can't hold stuff <laughs> either. can't hold anything either. There they are. Uh, yeah, these are really good. They were they were super um, good flavor. The spice was really good, but the, the texture was really good too. The, the texture was a, a nice soft cookie. Yes. Um, it wasn't like the soft baked you get from like uh, Keebler where they're kind of chewy and, and skinny little thin cookies that are chewy. Um, these are just really good, almost like a molasses cookie. Okay, so now Eleanor. Eleanor sent us these uh, from the UK. This was a blondie baking mix and a brownie baking mix. So both of them were brownies, uh, brownie mixes. These were a surprise because mm -hmm. you would think uh, they're M&S food, which M&S is a really good brand anyway. It's a nice uh, store. But you would think with Percy Pig or Colin the Caterpillar, like that they would be targeted towards kids and that they wouldn't be as good. They they're were excellent. really good mixes. And, and we also worried about the big chunks of like candy and stuff like that were in there. It's like, how do you mix that in and just bake it like it is? It worked fine. It worked. It worked, it worked fine. It was terrific. Mm -hmm. uh, I would totally get those again. So, and other people at in the UK said, I'm glad you tried those because I wondered if they were any good. Mm -hmm. So See, that's one of the things m &S should have sent over here for a target. This, yeah, like these Target. would have been regular every day instead of these gourmet chocolate boxes with tins and stuff like that. Yeah, that's something anybody could have gotten there that wasn't $30. 
um, that anybody could have made. Yeah. You know, that would have been a, a nice choice, but they sent a normal thing. Although, I'm really, really happy they sent the shortbread. I am too. I, I so like the good. things they sent. I'm just saying they could have had a more an everyday person item like that. Well, my hope, and I said this before, my is hope start more. is we'll get more. Yeah. We'll get more. Um, so, and then, so Eleanor sent those. Eleanor also sent these. These are the M&S Food uh, Plant Kitchen, mm -hmm. and they are Chewy Cherry Bakewell Cookies. Well, if you know me at all, I love me a Bakewell tart, love anything Bakewell, which is basically cherry and almond. Mm -hmm. um, and these cookies were awesome. Yeah, and that wouldn't be something we would normally get because it is plant-based. That's exactly. not something we would go to the store and go, Oh, I'm mm -hmm. going to pick these plant-based cookies over these regular cookies. Right. Um, they were well worth buying. And I was told that they do, they only made these in the plant-based, that they didn't even make them in the regular. Oh, so the only way, I, as far as what I understood, the only way that you were going to get this flavor, the Bakewell, the Bakewell was to get them in these. Hey, they're they awesome. Excellent. If you see them, if, if they're out later, um, to me, this should be just like Mr. Kipling Bakewell Tarts. This should be a flavor that's out all the time. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that this was special for Christmas. You all will have to tell me. But these should be sold all the time, mm -hmm. year round, because they're they're so good. Okay, I have the C's. Uh, this is the fudge assortment. And their fudge was excellent. I mean, it was... I like the packaging. The packaging was really easy to deal with. You didn't have to fight with a tray to dig it out of there. Um, it was, the textures were awesome. And there were so much, so many nuts in these that we were both like, it's almost too many nuts because you didn't get a lot of the fudge. But I'm not complaining because you get what you pay for, you know. We asked the question though during the video, wonder if they make it without nuts because you would think they would but we didn't see a box available no, not, not in our little pop-up store here and we were told in the comments that when they give a sample out in the store it does not have nuts yeah. so they do make it without nuts which is is not nice. yeah that would probably be good i mean i like all the nuts like the the pecans and the walnuts were i mean it was packed. it'd be nice to have both boxes though so yeah. that you could eat one of these and then one of these and, and they were so <laughs> sweet and the, te the textures were good i mean there was there's nothing wrong with these. These were top shelf fudge. So I'm going to show you, um, this was from, this was actually um, Kevin's favorite, uh, but Alicia sent us. This is the Betty's and this is Milk Chocolate Merry Man. And I'm going to let Kevin talk about them. Um, they were just, it was just a really good, first of all, it was a good chocolate period. Mm -hmm. um, good and sweet. It was melt on your tongue, um, just flowed like a, like a good rich milk chocolate mm -hmm. should. It was just Excellent flavor, good and sweet. I actually like the, we try these little M&M shaped things, which I think you liked better. I did, um, I like the, I like those better, the, just because of the shape and the but size. But these melted on your tongue better. Mm -hmm. This this had a better melting in your mouth kind of feel. So right. that's why I picked these, they're, just, they're really, really good. But Betty's, that is a UK company, mm -hmm. so. They good fruitcake too, so if you had want a good fruitcake, they'd be one to try. And shortbread. Yeah, and shortbread. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, that would be, definitely be worth a company uh, look, to look at the company. Mm -hmm. Um, do you want mine or? Uh, I don't care. The, I can send you, show you some. These were sent from Sarah. Uh, this is the Gnaw Salted Caramel Milk Chocolate. I think these were made in the UK. I'm pretty, yeah, made in the UK. And um, I've never seen these before. I don't know where Sarah found them. Uh, Sarah lives in California, but this is a UK brand. Uh, so totally awesome brand. Yeah, they and, were good. And then this was from Sarah. And this is the 7-Eleven 7 Select. This is a caramel popcorn snack mix. And it was wonderful. So if you have a 7-Eleven in your area or a Speedway, because Speedway is now selling 7-Eleven items, uh, look for this package because it's good. And it says there are three and a half servings. You're going to want to eat it all in one go. Just, yeah. yeah, plan on eating the entire bag because it's so good. And the Speedways, at least around here, haven't got a ton of 7-Eleven stuff in the stores, but but they do have some. They, they have, have a bunch of candy and candy, ice um, cream, chips. chips. Yeah. yeah they so they may or may not have those. I don't remember seeing those in our local they do. or not. They do, do they have them? Yeah, okay. they have them. Down the, there's a whole, like a snack aisle. So like you have a candy section, but then you have a snack aisle and they do have yeah. those. So the, yeah. But it's it's like they get some and they don't get other things. So it's just something you have to look for. You want to do some on? Sure. All right, these are the Snyders of Hando, Hanover. Uh, these are rounds, white peppermint covered pretzel balls. 
These are very, very good. Wow. Good. They had a really good like candy cane peppermint flavor too. And then you got the salty crispy pretzel underneath. Yeah, they were just excellent. Um, probably can't find them now. Well, <laughs> but the, they'll probably be back next year. The only uh, place we ever saw those in our area was at Meyer, mm -hmm. And they were only up front at Meyer. And they had them, and then they didn't have them. So either you got them or you didn't. They had this and another flavor, like just the chocolate. Just chocolate. Yeah. But these are the ones you want to get. These, yeah, are, these are good. Awesome. Sweet, super sweet. So good. Um, do you know? Yeah, do that one because it kind of it's um, the same flavor. This is chakur, uh peppermint, Holy. peppermint bark, white chocolate style. And who who doesn't like a good white chocolate with? candy cane broken up into exactly. that. I mean, it was really, really yeah. good. Um, but yeah, Aldi brand, um, you can, next Christmas, you'd be, probably be able to get these. Again. Oh, I'm sure they'll come out next yeah. Christmas. Yeah, really, really yeah. good. Very sweet too. Uh, these, uh, uh, this is called Lar Lager uh, Tartaruga. And I did not know when we did this review that Tartaruga in Spanish means turtle. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> This is a larger turtle. So we were called and we're like, these are like turtles. These, this is like a turtle. And, well, it was. I mean, you and can so tell. all the Spanish folks are out there going, uh, you moron, it means turtle. They are turtles. Uh, but we hey, don't know. You have to put that in your box if you want people. Yeah, if you want people to know, yeah, this company really, the people are like, where in the world is this name coming from? Because we, I've never taken Spanish in my life. I didn't know that. Um, but these were sent to us from David in Connecticut. They were hands down the best turtles we've ever mm -hmm. had. And yeah. he sent us the dark chocolate and the milk chocolate. Of course, we're going to pick the milk chocolate because they're sweeter. The dark chocolate was good, but you just didn't taste as much of the other stuff in it. You got mostly chocolate. Phenomenal. But uh, they were really good. Pecan, caramel, chocolate. Caramel was good and soft. It, the, tech, the whole texture experience of these was the best texture turtle I, literally that I've ever had. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely yeah, it was wonderful. Excellent. So um, I, I think um, I, I looked that day at the the at how many clicks this video had gotten, and I, I was my thought was I wish more people had clicked on that video because they don't know that you just don't know what you're missing because I want to tell people about this company. The actual name of the company, which I think they're kind of doing themselves a disservice on this box too. But not putting their company name on it? Yeah, the name of the company is not on here. The company is actually called Perfections Chocolate and they're in Boston. Well, that's not on this box at all. When you get it in the mail, there, there's... It didn't say it that. Going. Yeah. So it's Perfections Chocolate. But I, I wish more people would click on that video just because I would want you to know. And they don't have just these. They have all kinds of candies. But now, these were exceptional. I can tell they you that. Really, really if you good. don't order anything else, these were worth getting. I only have six more things. So if you want to go on. Okay. Well, I'm going to get rid of all these in yeah, one that's fine. Go, ahead. go. Okay. I've got a go stack. Guess who all this is from? Maria. Maria. Maria sent us so much. Um, she had she just... She basically sent us two boxes. She did. She basically sent us two boxes at one time because she had just finished sending us a box. Mm -hmm. And then and she sent Christmas presents, like an advent box. An advent box uh, with presents, individually wrapped presents. And it was uh, Christmas for me and Kevin. Mm -hmm. uh, so these are the Ferrero um, and these... Um, uh, were the uh, just hazelnuts and they're in an egg shape, but that's not common here at Christmas time. But in Germany, that is common at Christmas time is to have that same egg shape. Mm -hmm. um, if you think about it, they do. They used to do the, or at least when I was younger, they had the sugar eggs with like the the seams inside of them. You oh. remember seeing the little eggs? They were like this tall, and they would have like nativity scenes and stuff in them. I've I've only seen that at Easter. They, I don't think I've we ever had, seen We that had them at Christmas, Christmas too. Yeah, when I was a kid, they, they really? had them because uh, I remember them at church. Yeah, but um, you're really old. I am old. I mean, <laughs> uh, but it, I don't know. They, but they, I wonder how I many, they, they probably don't even do sugar eggs anymore. They were little eggs. They were like this tall and they were shaped like an egg and they were made out of like it sugar, crystallized wonderful. sugar. You don't eat them. You just you look oh. at them. You don't eat them. Well, why decoration you... and the fronts kind of hollowed out and they had a scene inside of them and at Christmas time they would have nativity so, scenes and stuff. So you, they had them at church? Mm -hmm. Okay, so did they keep them from year to year? Yeah, yeah, you just stored them and 
put them oh. out, and you put them out as decorations. Well, why bake them out of sugar if you can't eat them? I don't know the texture. I, I would want to eat it. I don't know. Well, I guess you could if you wanted to eat crystallized. If somebody sugar. sent me one, it was like rock candy on the outside. It was like you know that, that kind of. That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come here, baby Jesus. <laughs> Eat the baby. Um, I don't like know what the, the, the insides might have been out of plastic or I don't know. They may have been sugar on the inside, but I think they were plastic. Okay. Haribo. These are spiced orange flavor. And I got your dingo reference. <laughs> a dingo ate your baby. Um, the spiced orange flavor uh, Haribo. Those are good. Awesome. I love them. Oh my gosh. These were most of this so brand is good. Anyway. The Dickman's, yes. Um, Dickman's, oh, it's oh, Tannenbaum. Uh, they were absolutely wonderful. These, um, Maria has sent us the Dickman's before. These were the freshest. I mean, yeah. like they've always been fresh, but these were like super fresh, super, super fresh. They were wonderful. Yeah, Love they're, they're good. And if you like a good, creamy kind of texture, mm -hmm. um, kind of like. It's kind of like our marshmallow, but it's, cream, but it's so much better. These are it's like, like a, filled with marshmallow cream. Yeah, marshmallow cream. It's not as sticky, but yeah, it's more like a, yeah. or a whipped up frosting. Yeah, or it's like they're these so chocolate good. trees filled up with like marshmallow cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're very, very good. If you missed that video, it'd be worth it to click on just to see them because yeah, they're, they're pretty good. cool looking. Okay, and then I'm just gonna show you both of these at one time. Yeah, because they're both Niederreger. And they had some of the same flavors in them. Uh, Niederreger makes. Absolutely terrific um, marzipan. Uh, they have chocolate covered. Uh, this one had uh, the this was had nougat with uh, there was a waffle, a hazelnut marzipan. There was all kinds of pistachio. Our favorite one, and this was a nougat. Yeah, the nougat were actually better than the marzipan. And then this collection was all marzipan. had uh, gin and tonic, apple, rum, espresso. This is just a pineapple, orange, pistachio, milk chocolate classic. This, uh, these would make absolutely phenomenal gifts to give somebody. If you're looking for a, uh, a gift, I don't care what time of year it is. Um, I think Niederreger is a great brand to buy. And if I've said this before, if you've never tried Marzipan, this is the brand I would start with. Yeah, I would start with that brand Because you're going to be comparing everything else to this brand. This is, it's, it's just terrific. Mm, it is very good. Uh, this one is the, um, I can't remember how to pronounce that. I don't pronounce it. Deutsch, Deutsch, I just say Deutsch, it's from Germany. Know. It's sugar roasted almonds from Germany. <laughs> but we bought them at Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> we bought them at Aldi. Yeah. But yeah, these were excellent. They were they were almonds. They were good crunchy almonds inside, but they had a really good sugar coating on the outside. So yeah, kind of like what you would you would think you would buy at a a fresh roasted nut stand, you know, yes. at Christmas time. Yes. That's what from these a were street like. vendor. Yeah. Do Go ahead. Know? Yeah, you've got more. Uh, these are the um, Macy's. Macy's. These are the Buddy Buddy. I can literally not talk today. Milk chocolate butter almond toffee. I was combining butter and toffee. Um, these were good. The the Macy's brand. Um, the stores they at Christmas time at least they set up a in our area they set up a big area for food. Mm -hmm. And this was some of the best uh, Macy's stuff. I don't think I they have anything, anything else. else yeah. Um, this was one of the best items we tried this year. Um, you can buy from Macy's on their website yeah. year round. They, if you go to, to Macy's, the Macy's website, if you type in food or I always type in gourmet food, that's what they call it. Um, you're going to get a lot more than Macy's though. You're going to get, uh, items offered to you from everywhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, but they usually have sales and stuff like that. Unfortunately, that was the only downfall of these is they were $8. So it was expensive, <clears throat> but it was really good quality. Yeah, they were really good. I think you should do another one. Okay. <laughs> um, these are the uh, Sophie made peanut brittle handmade. Those are made by Atkinson's. Yeah. Yeah, and we did a whole like ta uh, taste test mm -hmm. of different peanut brittles. Peanut brittles yeah. Honestly, when when we came up with that idea. Um, I thought they won't be that different. You would think peanut brittle, sugar peanut brittle. and peanuts. It's it's peanut brittle. And that was a surprise video. Yeah. Because that video included the Walmart brand. Um, and I thought, I really thought that, because most of the times, 
Walmart knocks it out of the park. They do a really, yeah, do really, a really good, good job, job with things. Them. That peanut brittle, I think, was like our least favorite in there because they added vanilla to it, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. Wasn't that the case? Yeah, they was, added, and it was a, uh, it didn't taste a like really artificial brittle. vanilla, too. Yeah, it did not taste normal. So, like, yeah. it's like we really thought we were going to, like, that's going to be the, the, one of the best ones, and it wasn't. I would never buy that Walmart peanut butter. No, if they had the vanilla, it would have been good. It would have been fine. This one, though, was full. Not only was it full of peanuts, but it was also, it wasn't that glassy texture. It doesn't be shards of glass you're eating. It was kind of crumbly, almost mm -hmm. like a toffee more than a peanut yes, brittle. It's fun. Yeah, oh but you can't be toffee. Yeah. Um, that texture. So, yeah, really, really good. Go ahead and do another one. Go ahead. I think you have a bunch from the same people, don't you? No, I have three things. Um, That's it. Three things. Okay, so these are Richard's Maple uh, products. This is, I can't read the name of the place. It's, it's sorry. Three, it's it's Richard. You said it. Richard's okay, well, Maple it says products. Richard. Okay. Yeah, Richard's These maple. are Maple Puffs. And these kind of remind you of the Beaver Nuggets, but so much better. <laughs> yes. These were sent to us from Asthma in Ohio. Mm -hmm. And... I, I'm just 100% honesty. These were gone the same day we did the review. Yeah. They were gone. Like, they were gone. We half the bag. Well, I think I, I do think I ate a lot more than I you. Think you did. He, I, I filled a bowl full twice. twice. <laughs> And then I'm a eating. Paper bowl. I'm eating like out of the bag. These were gone though, and and that probably kills asthma because it says they were nine dollars. Hey, it was a well. Loved nine dollars. <laughs> yes, they they're absolutely wonderful. Yeah. yeah, these are better. I didn't think you could get better than those Bucky's. Yeah, if you like the Bucky's Beaver Nuggets, if you like those, then these are like better than those. It's just the texture. The texture. The is texture is outstanding. Yeah. The flavor is very similar, but good. the the flavor the texture was like absolutely yeah wonderful kind of like i could not be trusted to have clearly to have these in the house because they're not going to make it no. <laughs> they I don't have a wrong. chance no okay this um this is an aldi an aldi find this was a specially selected milk white and dark chocolate collection so they had like two collections they had like this chocolate collection but then they had like a, a holiday collection this would be my choice of the two because this has a, a praline, cherry, speculoos, fudge, eaten mess, salted caramel, almond duo, and maple flavor and pecan. I think we like all of those pretty much. The, right. So every single thing out of this box was stellar. The other box, there were just a couple that it's like, it, you know, it was about half and half, I yeah. think, in the other box. So this would be the collection we would get. They will come back with these. Usually Aldi is really good about the, you know, each month they have different things. So if you weren't able to pick these up at Christmas um, in December this year, to look for them next year, watch the video again if you don't remember which one, because Lord knows we won't remember which one. Um, but uh, this, yeah, this was really nice. Uh, this one is the Domino's Dip Spicy It's not nacho. Domino's. Doritos dip. It's like I've been drinking today. Um, this is the Doritos dip spicy nacho. Uh, they had this and they had the um, the ranch, right? Um, yes. This was better. Cool ranch. Yeah, yeah, this was better. The cool ranch was just okay. This was yeah. excellent. This was like really, really good. And it's just a really good, um, really, it's just a good spicy cheese dip. Mm -hmm. I mean, it didn't have anything to do with Doritos. It didn't taste like Doritos. And it's really good heated up too. Yeah, heat this one up. The other one it was like, like a... A queso dip or something. It didn't even. No, it wasn't a queso. It was like a more of a cream dip, and you didn't heat it up. Know. This yeah. one you heat it up. Yeah, I, there. Yeah, it's it's really good, but you you need to be able to tolerate some spice. Yeah, because it, it it does it, have jalapenos in it. It has a kick to yeah. it. Yeah, but it didn't taste anything like Doritos, no. especially not like Domino's. But it didn't taste anything like Doritos either, <laughs> except it was cheese and it had some spice to it. Okay. Ah, loved, love, love, love. Uh, so far from the Killer Brownie. This is the Killer Brownie Signature Collection. These were peppermint brownies. Mm, they were good. This, I am just shocked because I like peppermint. You know, peppermint's okay. Yeah, candy but it, cane. But yeah, I'm not going to like normally like, oh, that's the one I'm choosing. Killer Brownie like this is so awesome. Let me tell you what was in it. And these brownies had... Uh, it's a rich chocolate brownie with chocolate chips, peppermint cream, buttery caramel, 
white chocolate chips, and glittery sugar. Everything about these from start to finish, the texture, the, the whole texture of the brownie, the texture of those white chips, the sugar on top, every one of those textures was distinct mm -hmm. and important. And a good layer, and a decent to the layer experience. Of yeah. Absolutely terrific. Mm -hmm. I want all of their brownies to always have all those. And they were super fresh too. Remember, <laughs> very, they were very, like, very like literally, fresh. they just came yes. out of the store. Yes, very fresh. And we found these in Kroger, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for Kroger because uh, we bought Killer Brownie before, and and they've been good. There's not been anything wrong with them, but sometimes the, they we, haven't seemed as fresh. Right, they were a little drier or something, and they, yeah. these were like super moist brownies. Wonderful. And yeah. Kroger also had, I think, the Brookie ones. So we had already reviewed the Brookie ones, so I didn't review them again. But if you're more interested in those, look for them at Kroger. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. All right, so this one is the last one I have. Uh, this is a Screaming Sicilian Pepperoni uh, Loaded Breadsticks. And uh, we tried all their breadsticks. Some of them were better than others. All of them but one. There was like a chicken one. A buffalo chicken? Yes. Yes. Um, See, I remember things. I was, um, I'm, I'm proud of him. <laughs> the, this was the best one by far. The other ones were kind of hit and miss with us, weren't they? They were, some of them were okay. Some of them were like, eh, it's okay. I would get it if, again, whatever. But this one was really good. I would definitely get this one again. Well, the question I got uh, several times when we did the bloated, br uh, the breadsticks, uh, just the cheese one. Yeah. The question I got again and again was, do you like the Motor City breadsticks or do you like the Screaming Cecilia right, breadsticks? That, well, the, the bread, Motor City is just cheese. Well, no, bread. they have cheese. It's, not, it's cheese bread. It's cheese yeah, bread. it's They're the not same cut thing. It well, you could cut it yourself into yeah. sticks. You're going to cut it any yeah, way you want to. It's cheesy cut bread, it. though. Yeah, you cut it any way you want to cut it. But they have a cheese pizza and then they have a cheese bread. Right. Cheese bread's the best thing Motor City has. So somebody wanted, uh, well, several people, like I said, wanted to know, would we choose the Screaming Sicilian breadsticks over the Motor City? No. no. For the cheese, we would still choose the Motor City cheese bread. Yeah. yeah. And that's because it, the Screaming Sicilian didn't have much of a sauce on there right. or any sauce. Any sauce. And, or didn't seem to. The Motor City has a sauce. Yeah, it's like a Parmesan cheese sauce, Parmesan garlic sauce or something like that. And it adds so much more flavor to that it, it, cheese bread. It adds a lot it's, of garlic. It's really good. Yeah. If I had to pick a Motor City to go buy, that'd be the one I'd buy. The cheese bread. And yeah. I'm not a cheese pizza kind of person. I'd much rather usually have a pepperoni or a meats or a mm -hmm. Supreme or something like that. But that, I would choose that pizza any day of the week. But now, but out of bread, the breadsticks, these are really good. Um, for, for Screaming Sicilian, yeah, these uh, uh, pepperoni, mm -hmm. Really it good. was really good. Yes, uh, they were so nice, and it's convenient to be able to just uh, pop this in the oven, and it didn't take a long time either. And, and it can be hard to identify where the cuts are, but if you kind of pick it up on the bottom, you can kind of see underneath where they were at. Tammy never did that for any of them. She said, "Heck with it. I'm just going to make my own sticks." Well, I remember the first review we did of them, and I'm thinking, "Boy, you get some really good sized pieces here." <laughs> it was like two of them. Well, I had put two. <laughs> two together but you can't oh, see from the top you have to kind of pick, you it, up have to pick it up and yeah. then you can see where they have been pre-cut so that's nice yeah i uh, truly though let's be honest those are a meal for one i consider yeah. that a meal for one if you're gonna buy those it's you and your husband i would buy a box for you and a box for him you might not want the same flavor anyway or if you buy two boxes you could have you could eat half cheese half pepperoni it's or only a little over a thousand calories if you're eating pizza, I mean, really, that, I mean, you're going to eat that anyway. It's almost 2,000 calories. No. <laughs> 180 times nine. <laughs> yeah. That was fun while it lasted. Okay. And then I'll save this for last. I, this, these are my new favorite milk chocolate chips. The Guitar brand. Mm, they're good. Um, I, we've been eating... Uh, crumble cookies for forever now it seems and crumble cookies I love their chocolate chip cookie and they always use these huge milk chocolate chips in their uh, chocolate chip cookies well I did not know that this brand guitar 
are the ones they used until we did a uh, we did a blind taste test, mm -hmm. didn't we? Because yeah. you were blindfolded, and we had like five or six different brands of milk chocolate chips, and I love these, love them. These to me were the best. I love the big chips. Um, the, the bad thing is, is I don't. Can you buy these at Walmart? I've never. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I've seen that brand of Walmart. Let me tell you so. who has the best selection of flavors of them is World Market, at mm -hmm. least in our area. So Somebody else had them, though. Whole Foods has them. Whole Foods sells okay. Guitar, and they had, uh, they had a couple of different flavors. But now, World Market has, like, probably six, it seems like six or seven different flavors of these. Now, I've only tried the milk chocolate. And I'm assuming, you shouldn't assume, but I'm assuming that it, since these are so big, the other flavors are big too. So. You would think they would all be the same size. Well, these are my new favorite the, milk chocolate chips. The neat things about that is you can buy the chunks of just the regular, like Hershey's or whatever you can buy, the mm -hmm. chunks that are big square blocks. Um, these Not are actual, the no, these are actual chips. They're actually the drop shaped chip and they, they and the bake better. And the flavor's better. Oh, the, the flavor, flavor's, yeah. The flavor is phenomenal. I'm just talking about shape alone. You yeah. can get the big chunky chips, but they eat differently than those because these are like tapered off in the ends and thinner and, and they, yeah, they just, and they melt really nice. Absolutely. Really like yeah. I, I really like, I like them. them too. I would like to try the other flavors that they have as well. Yeah, we'll, have to re we'll have to do a review. Do just, a review. Just their chips. Just the chips. Yeah. yeah. Uh, give me a good excuse. I, I kept hoping there was one still left in there. <laughs> there, there there's no. not. Um, we ate them all. Okay. Kevin has a another channel. It's called Lunchtime Review, mm -hmm. and four days a week he eats uh, shelf stable meals or frozen meals, stuff like that. And then one day a week he goes out to eat. So um, I have three things. Okay. Two of them are the same, but not the same. And 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 these are going in the hate pile. These are hates. Yeah, um, two of these he. Two of these are hates, but they're the same brand, so you can you get the thing. I think you had one of these at the in the hate pile for November too. <laughs> Maybe. I think if you watched in November. I don't doubt it because I didn't like any of them. There were three of these Kevin reviewed. Yeah. These are Bitsies. Bitsies should go back to doing something else besides making these because these are awful. Um, this one is the. Um, white cheddar mac and cheese and i'm thinking this is just the regular mac and cheese i didn't save the bowl i saved the lid thinking it would say what it was but it didn't um i gave this one a two and i gave this one a 1.5 <laughs> so i don't give that low very often kevin only writes on a scale of one to five so if it's getting a 1.5 five's the best that is pretty yeah. freaking bad um this i said the the regular mac and cheese was very chemical flavored but I also on this one I wrote a note it said uh, tasted like a strong vinegar uh, the white cheddar I remember you saying yeah that. it was like Weird. wow what are they doing to this thing I mean what are you putting in there it's not mac and cheese it tastes like some uh, really strong bite into it and it was is this the one I said it was almost like it burnt my throat when I was yes. eating I think I thought so yeah um so I, I tried three of them I didn't like any of them don't go no. buy that brand like I said, they should make something else. So, because that one's not any good. They do make other things yeah. in that brand. And I don't um, know if those are any better. Don't know. I never tried yeah. anything else. And now that I've tried three of those and not like them, I know we've said many times, you know, don't judge. Don't give up on a brand because of. Right. Yeah. So, if it was something completely different than that, maybe I would try it. But if it's anything pasta based, I probably wouldn't try it. Yeah. I, kind of, I, th I think that's fair. Yeah. yeah. But if they like, like a, a meal, like something a, different. Yeah, then yeah. I might try it. Um, this I gave a 4.5. Uh, we bought these at Kroger. It was the meatball meal from Marie Callender, spaghetti and meatballs. Doesn't sound like it's that exciting, but the flavor of these was so, so good. That sausage, the meatballs were so flavorful and had so much seasoning in them. Um, that was the best part is the meatballs and the sauce was also really good. So sometimes you get these in the really sweet spaghetti sauce. This was actually a savory sauce, which I really appreciate because I don't really like a sweet, uh, pasta sauce. I'd really have it like a seasoned. So I told you, one day a week, Kevin goes out to eat, and those are videos are posted on Thursdays. Uh, McDonald's Smoky BLT Quarter Pounder with Cheese. Mm -hmm. And then on the 8th, you had Scooter's Coffee. It's like a little coffee shop. Yeah, but they have food. So mm -hmm. he got an everything bagel sandwich, Praline Caramelicious Blender, which, was that a drink? Yeah, it's like a, um, um, 
a coffee mix. And yeah. then he got a holiday sugar cookie. Mm -hmm. And then on the 15th, he had Charlie's Philly Steaks, a steak Philly cheesesteak, which is in the mall, is in Fayette Mall. It used Lexington. to be a great steak in our mall. Great now, steak, yeah. Now I was watching somebody's video on YouTube. She's in Alaska, and she was showing the mall in Alaska, and her mall in Alaska had one of those Charlies. Yeah, I'd like, say that's the that's, that's the cool. mall food. I'd say. Um, and then on the 22nd, you had KFC, a chicken pot pie, and then uh, on the 29th, you had Dairy Queen. You had the brand new. Uh, this is a blizzard for January. The Reese's Take Five Blizzard. Yeah, they just got it early in ours. And you had the A1 Stack Burger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all of these were good except for scooters. <laughs> um, scooters should stick to coffee because their their sandwich was, it was like something you would buy at, um, well, actually even Walmart and Kroger and stuff has sandwiches you microwave that tasted better, honestly. It wasn't bad. I mean, you could get it. If you were in a, if you were pressed for time and you wanted to get a coffee and a sandwich, yeah, you could eat it. But it was just a microwave sandwich. Very it mediocre. Yeah, it wasn't okay. anything. Um, I mean, it wasn't bad. It was just was okay. Um, the I'm thinking the the sound the sausage on there uh, really didn't have a lot of flavor to it. It was just okay. Um, the praline caramelicious blender. When you look at the picture, it looks like it's going to be like a milkshake. It's like mm -hmm. going to be sweet and milkshakey, and it's going to be really good. Mm -hmm. And you get it, and it's still coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's just coffee and it's like black coffee with no sweetener really so and people would say well you are going to a coffee shop but yeah but you can go to starbucks and those are basically glorified milkshakes some of them are, yeah. yeah um and then the sugar cookie was just okay too this is like something you could buy at a bakery at any grocery store so so scooters is probably not a place i would go to eat honestly um if you like the coffee that's great i'm not a go out and get coffee but if you like the coffee that's great uh, the McDonald's Smoky BLT was excellent. It was really, really good. Um, the Philly cheesesteak, those were really good. If, you, if you're in the mall and you want one, I don't know that they have any restaurants like separate from the mall. I've never seen I know. one. Yeah, I the, the only time I've ever seen a place like that is in the mall. But uh, if you're in the mall and you want a Philly cheesesteak, it's really good. Um, the pot pie was good. I'll talk about that in a second. It was good, but it, it's kind of disappointing to me. And then the Dairy Queen, uh, honestly, the A1 steak burger and the McDonald's BLT stack burger. Stack burger. Stack burger. Um, they were the best two out of the month, if you oh, ask me. Oh, okay, okay. Those are the two best. Uh, if you got a McDonald's, which everybody does, I think. Um, the Smoky BLT was really, really good. And then the Dairy Queen, um, the A1 Stack Burger was really, really good. Um, and you read, see, I didn't see the description of it because we were talking on the phone. And Tammy said, they have this. And I went, oh, well, I'll get that then. So I didn't have the full description. So I saw the A1 sauce. But you said it also had some kind of um, smokehouse pepper peppercorn peppercorn, peppercorn sauce yeah. and um, it's like you know what now that you say that i can i can see where it would be that because it had some spice to it uh -huh. um so it had some zip to it so I, that was probably my favorite honestly um, the then, dairy queen yeah and then that followed by the smoky blt the pot pot at kfc first of all it was huge i mean it was big and the crust on the top was really really nice so what i ended up doing after i did the review is i took it it kind of folds over the edges and it holds in place. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard to get it off with a fork. So what I did was I took my hands and just kind of broke it off the edges and put it in the middle and ate it all together. Um, it kind of disappointed me that it didn't have crust underneath and on the sides like a pie does. Um, that would disappoint me too. Because that's the best part is that pie. And somebody yeah. said it would probably get soggy. That may be true, but they have frozen ones in the frozen department that even the cheap ones there. Marie Callender makes pop pies. Yeah, they make huge. And, yeah, they make huge. They have make cheap ones even. So if Marie Callender can do it, why can't KFC? Yeah, I think they could have got by. They could have made it that way if they wanted to. Right. They just that was probably simpler for them and cheaper. Yeah, too. and cheaper. Yeah, because you know, it is big. I mean, it was that big around. So it's it's not. So small. your favorite thing of the month was the Dairy Queen. The Dairy Queen followed closely by McDonald's. So your least DLC, favorite thing? The scooters. Scooters. Yeah. yeah. It's just it was. Uh, Starbucks is the same way. The sandwiches at Starbucks aren't the best things either. They're okay. They're they're edible. I mean, if you're there and you got one, you would eat it. But it's right. not something I would go out of my way to go eat. Right. It's not gourmet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you go to Starbucks to get coffee. You go to Scooters to get coffee. You go to McDonald's to get a cheese bar. I mean, that's just what you do. Right. You know? Right. <laughs> well, I hope. Although you... McDonald's has good coffee. Too. Yes, McGo yes, because that's what you buy, the cafe coffee. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this was a longer video, definitely, uh, for the month of December. Now, 
Uh, if you like these types of videos, it is the end of the year, so we will be doing a, a yearly wrap-up video of the entire year, so hopefully you'll stay tuned for that. Uh, we really, really appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you at the end of January.